Hey guys, Jessica here, the Furry Family Coach. Thank you so much for joining me today. In today's video, we are talking more about cat litter and specifically cleaning out your cat's litter box. I feel like this is something that people take for granted. There's like, oh yeah, I know how to clean out a cat's litter box, but guess what? I have learned over my many, many years on this planet that that is just not true. And specifically, like, I know it doesn't matter who has come to take care of my cats over the years, you know, pet sitters, family members, friends, it doesn't matter. Not a single one of them did a good job with the cat litter box. And, you know, it, I've come to just like accept it. It is what it is. I know when I get home from my trip, whatever, wherever I'm at, I'm going to have to just completely empty the, the box, clean it and start with fresh litter. I know that now and I plan ahead of time for that now. But I wanted to come and talk to you about it because this is a really, really important topic. And the first thing I want to say before we get into anything else is that if you start having any issues with your cat using the litter box or not using the litter box or going right next to the litter box, anything like that, the very first thing you want to do is pick up a phone and call your veterinarian and schedule an appointment because there very well could be an underlying medical reason for that, especially if your cat has you know, been using the litter box great for however long they've been alive and then all of a sudden this happens or if slowly it starts to happen. Regardless of how it happens, if it happens, you definitely want to get into your veterinarian ASAP because there could be an underlying medical issue that is causing this and you definitely want to get that taken care of before anything else. So we're going to talk a little bit about cleaning the litter box. Now when you're just every day scooping the litter box. First of all, you don't want to, you know, schedule once a week to do this. You don't even want to schedule once a day to do this. You want to make sure you're cleaning the litter box multiple times a day. You know, you don't want to use a dirty toilet, right? Your cat doesn't want to use a dirty litter box either. So for me personally, I clean the litter box anytime I see it's dirty. I don't have scheduled times for it though. I will say, you know, first thing when I get up in the morning, I let Kim out to potty and then I go feed the cats and clean the litter boxes. Like that is my morning routine. So it's one of the first things I do in the morning is to make sure all the litter boxes are clean. And also one of the last things I do before I go to bed at night, because obviously overnight when I'm sleeping is a long period of time that the litter boxes are unattended. So those two time frames are kind of planned for me, but throughout the day, like literally if a litter box is, has been used, I clean it. If I walk by and see that it has been used, I clean it. If I walk by and a cat is just getting in it, I wait for them to get finished and I clean it. It's really important for us to keep these areas. One, again, like I said, because it's going to help your cat not <laughs> choose to go outside of the litter box. You know, like I said, you don't want to use a dirty toilet. Why would your cat want to use a dirty litter box? But also it's going to help your, your house smell a lot nicer as well. And when you are scooping the litter box, don't be really like moving the scoop around and, and really batting that, <laughs> that um, you know, hopefully if you're using um, clumping litter, you're going to get like a clump if your cat pees. You want to be kind of gentle with it because you don't want to break it apart. Any pieces that come off, that's odor that's going to be left in your cat's litter box. I'm actually super careful and sometimes it happens. Sometimes I, I break clumps and I do my best to get everything out of the box that I can, but I really kind of pride myself on the fact that my cat's litter boxes are pretty darn clean and they really don't smell that much because I keep them clean because I don't break up the clumps of litter. I get whole clumps out as, as much as I possibly can. Don't be really rough with it because then you are going to break those clumps and you're going to wind up leaving tiny little pieces in the litter box that do smell and they really smell bad over time. And guess what guys, your cats don't like that it smells either. Your cats are very sensitive to smells. So I generally don't recommend hooded litter boxes for that reason or putting a litter box in a closet or a laundry room because that's just too much of a tight enclosed space where air is not circulating. You really want your litter boxes in an area where air is circulating so that you can mitigate that odor as well. Again, another reason that cats will avoid the litter box is because it just smells too darn much. So other tips for keeping your litter box clean. One, we want to make sure there's adequate litter in the box at all times. So if you, you know, you start cleaning it out because your cat is using it, the amount of litter in your box is going to decrease, obviously. 
So we want to make sure we're keeping a good amount of litter in the litter box so you're replenishing that. But, and I recommend once a week, if you absolutely have to push it out to once every two weeks, I get it. But really for me, it's once a week. You want to really empty those litter boxes and get them a good cleaning. The best way to do this is to completely empty all the litter and and let those litter boxes soak whether you take them outside or if you have a big utility sink like i do you put your litter box in there and you let it soak with just white vinegar and water and you're going to let that soak for a little while because plastic is porous so it's going to hold in germs and bacteria it's going to hold in those odors that's just the nature of plastic plastics don't last forever also guys so stick with me because i'm going to give you another tip about that but let them set for a little while if you have areas that you need to scrub, go ahead and scrub them. You can use paper towels or if you have microfiber cloths that you can then throw in the wash, do it that way. You know, be kind to the planet whenever possible, right? If you really, really need to, and you need to take a little bit of dish liquid, personally, I don't love this, but I do understand that sometimes you need to have a little extra oomph when cleaning certain spots. I try to keep my litter boxes as clean as possible so that I don't wind up with these spots that are, you know, big, crusty, tough spots to clean. But if you need to take just a teeny tiny little bit of dish soap and work that in with the water and scrub and get it clean, I get it. I would think a microfiber cloth would actually get most, you know, set in areas uh, just with the vinegar and water. But that's really gonna be your best bet to get your litter boxes as clean as possible. Let them sit for a little while. I mean, it doesn't have to be long, you know, 30 minutes or an hour. Do one at a time so your cat is never left without a litter box. And once you're done with that and you, um, rent, you, you empty out all the, you know, the vinegar and water mixture, make sure you really dry it good because the last thing you wanna do is put fresh litter into a litter box that isn't dry because you're gonna wind up with huge clumps on the bottom of your litter box and that's a mess. And like I said, you want to, re when you are done cleaning your litter box, you wanna replace fresh litter. You want fresh litter in your freshly cleaned litter box and make sure you're filling it up adequately. Generally, litter boxes will give you, like they'll have some tag on them to tell you like how much, but about halfway is generally a good amount um, for making sure. But again, every cat is different. So your cat may actually like a little bit more, your cat may actually like a little bit less, and really you're gonna know your cat best <laughs> to know what amount of litter that they like in their litter boxes. And, and I really wasn't planning on including this in this video, but it's so important that you provide your cat with a litter that they will actually want to use. There are lots of different kinds of litter out there, Personally, right now, what I'm using is a grass um, grass litter, and while it's not like number one on my list, it's probably number two on my list, number one on my list is gonna be pellet litter, um, but only one of my cats will use that, and so what is the point? If my cats aren't gonna use it, then there's no point in me putting that out, right? I've tested it, I've tried it, only one of my cats will use it, the other three will not, um, so I have to go with what my cats will use. They're going to be the number one judge of whatever you do, whatever you use in your litter box. Don't use anything with fragrance in it. Don't use any like chemically pellet thing. Like there are some litters out there that like, what is that actually made of? I have no idea. The more natural, the better in my opinion. Like I even considered just using dirt at one time, but that doesn't clump. So that was a little bit of a mess, but, um, you know, use, what for me is going to be as friendly as I can to the environment, but also what my cats will actually use. The number one consideration for what type of litter to use is what litter will your cat use? So I hope this video was helpful. I do want, I do for like literally everything. I hope that you take this into consideration and make sure you are keeping your cat's litter boxes as clean as possible for them. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I have other videos on my channel about cat litter tips and tricks that I really think you would be very interested in. So I will link those in the description of this video so you can go check those out. I so hope this was helpful. Please let me know by leaving me a comment down below. Also, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and look down there at that subscribe button. If it's a red, go ahead and click it and turn it gray and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Also, don't 
miss out on all the exclusive content that I put up on Patreon. That link is also in the description. It's the very first one. Make sure you are joining me on Patreon for all new and exclusive pet parent content that you are not going to be able to get anywhere else. Thank you so much for being here with me today and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye! Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video.